Today on Burke Makes Stuff, I'm gonna share one quick spray paint time-saving trick slash hack slash thing with you. Every single time I'm in my shop and I'm using spray paint, I have one of these very nearby. Now this is just a run-of-the-mill crappy hair dryer. And if you had to stand there and hold it on the paint to let it dry, that would still save you time, but I'm gonna show you how to save 100% of your time. What I employ in my shop, I call, well, I don't actually have a name for it. So let's go with um, spray paint hot box. <laughs> Now you can make this out of any box that's lying around your house just as long as the thing that you're spray painting fits inside of it. Now I made mine a little bit large because I reuse mine again and again and again. That way I can save even more time because the thing I need is already made. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can make this, but in my case, the front cover comes down to seal off the front and enough cut a hole up here that the hair dryer can sit in. There's also a hole down here on the complete opposite side of the box to make sure that the hot air has to travel completely across the inside of the box and therefore across the object inside that you're trying to dry. My favorite part about this one is the fact that when you have the stuff in there and the hair dryer's on, your hands are free to go do other things for that time that you leave it to dry. It usually takes less than five minutes for that to cure up and really be ready to put into usage however you're gonna do. Now I've used this setup time and time and time again and it's always worked perfectly for me. But my question is what works for you? When you're trying to speed up your dry time, what do you do? Leave it down in the comments, that way our community can learn from everyone's knowledge and grow together. I'll see you guys next time, I hope you enjoyed it.